Yo, guys, it's a big day. I don't normally say it's a big day without it actually being a big day. And it's a big day. Such a big day that we're cracking open a fresh can of, uh, fresh can of Perrier. My AC just came on, we have to turn that off. Hang on a sec. Hang on a second, y'all. <clears throat> Which is also crazy. It was the warm, it was so warm today, 70, like seven degrees, that I needed to turn the AC on for the first time all year. So that's like a negative thing for my electric beer bill, but a positive thing for just in general. Like we love, we love being nice outside. So anyways, the big news. This is the big news. We got the Ergo Draft. It's a new chair. We have a new desk chair in the family. <sighs> it's been, it's been way too long. Uh, not having a proper stool to rest my butt and to rest my body, mainly my back. Guys, I know I'm young still, right? 29, it's like fairly young. Um, but my back it feels like it's, like it's probably like in its late 60s. Um, but I think it's mainly because of two reasons. I'm a side sleeper, so I sleep on my side, and it's like, it's like, this is how my back feels every night, or every morning I wake up. <sighs> so that's why I stretch a bunch. This is all my stretchy stuff. But yeah, I think another contributor to my late 60s back would be the things that I sit on. So currently, I'm sitting on this stool. I interchange between this one here, and then this guy here, which is, if you haven't noticed, it's hard, it's so hard. So yeah, it's technically a drafting chair, and the drafting part means that it's higher, because my desk sits a little bit higher than a normal desk sits. Also, <laughs> uh, I started a podcast, and if you're watching this video, you probably already know that because I've, I'm uploading it on this channel. And it's also on Spotify and Apple Music, Apple's, Apple stuff. I literally woke up today and my back felt like total shit. And again, I, I know a lot of it's because I have the ugliest posture. Let me give you a demonstration of Anyways, the podcast is called Chill Pants Podcast. Also, welcome to the welcome to Chill Pants Podcast, um, episode one. I'm going to be your host, Mark. I think podcasts fall into like one or two categories. It's like strictly audio or a mix of video and audio. And I think mine's more on that side. I think it benefit from watching it on YouTube, um, especially this next episode that's coming up. Um, I have some like visuals that are very key to the topic of discussion. You've seen me kind of experiment with the podcast sitting on the couch with the microphone. Those are kind of like chill pants podcast beta mode. And so yeah, episode one is live and uh, be, be awesome, mean the world to me if you checked it out. Uh, and if you already have, thank you, I appreciate you. And let's set this, let's set this chair up, baby. Let's do it. baby. Oh, look at this puppy. A thing. A, a thing. Yeah. Puppy loves boxes. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's so pretty. Oh, he's so pretty. Yeah. Ooh, that's pretty. Look at that. We like that, boy. Damn, that old YouTuber trick of like snapping your fingers and then the whole thing just gets put together, it's not working. Seriously, do you guys' pets just love new stuff? Like, she it's not, she knows it's not for her, but she's like, mm, but it kinda is though, you know? Oh well, we are, thank you for the licks. Thank you for the licks, I appreciate ya. Whoa. So these are like the ones that comes with your standard office chair wheels. And then I upgraded to these guys. They're basically to uh, leave less dings and scratches on the floor. And also, they just look like freaking cool. So that's the main reason we got them. Cool. Two, three, four, 
five. Hell yeah, dude. Whoa, it's so cool. <laughs> Chair is complete. Oh my God, it looks so good. Yes. Uh, it came with this optional coat rack you can put on the back so you can hang your jacket or whatever, but I am just going to leave it off for now. But it's kind of a cool feature. The wheels are awesome. I think they look really nice. They kind of like elevate the entire chair in my opinion it's kind of like having nice rims or nice shoes this bitch looks so sexy oh my god well first first impressions of the chair it's just so much better i feel my back is just so much more supported than well a the yellow stool i was using had no back support i was trying to sit upright and then the green wooden chair was just like nah dude it's been an investing month here uh for the business obviously the chair I got two new, um, I basically got a light kit, um, two new LED lights with adjustable color temperatures. And I've got one on right now, actually, just like helping fill out my face. And yeah, I mean, just those two things. What else? I feel like I got from the notes. Oh, the vlogging camera I got last month too. So yeah, it was a month of investing, but that's how it is sometimes. All this stuff is um, tax deductible. I have no problem like, putting money back into my business because I know that I will use the things. Like I'm gonna use this every single day. The lights I'll probably use every couple of days and the vlogging camera, yeah, pretty often as well. So good stuff, man, good stuff. Good Tuesday. Ah, I'm just so pleased. I'm so flippin' tickled with this chair. I'm just gonna sleep in this tonight, I think. Anyways, hope you guys are having a lovely day. And uh, just a reminder, drink, drink some gosh darn water. You feeling a little stressed? Drink some water, folks. Best medicine there is. Having a little afternoon snack. I normally get hungry at like 3.30. That's when she gets fed too at 3.30. So we've got some granola, pomegranate juice, and then uh, just some mixed nuts. I had a mixed nut earlier, or I had a mixed nut. I had a pecan earlier for lunch, and I instantly craved a pecan pie. First off, they don't put enough pecans in this bag. So this brand, Simply Truth, if you're out there listening, I was craving a pecan pie little vanilla ice cream. Dude, if I if my metabolism wasn't so fast, I'd be I'd be a thick a thick boy. available on my store, BT Dub, I'm going to make my first ever crop top. And uh, so yeah, let's, I mean, it can't be that hard. Just lay it out. I mean, we basically just cut, you basically just cut the stomach off, right? Is that the idea? Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're just, I mean, I've made a ton of muscle shirts. Like, if you ever need a muscle shirt made, like a cutoff, come to me. You can always go shorter. You can't always, you can't add. <laughs> oh baby, it's gonna be short. Short little crop crop, boy. Ooh, man. All right. <laughs> and now we just have to try it on. I might have gone, might have gone too short. <laughs> hey. Hey, it's kind of cute though, honestly. And like over time, you know, this will kind of curl up. It'll do one of these things and just sort of curl underneath. That's kind of what you want eventually, I think. 
I mean, I could go shorter, but I think I'm just gonna leave it. Hey boys. How you doing? In the show, It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, they run that bar in Philadelphia. And one time they turned the bar into a gay bar because I think it's just the bar's not doing very well or whatever. The bar ends up being a gay bar. <clears throat> and Dennis loves the attention. Dennis is a straight guy in the show. But like they cut to him and he's like behind the bar one day. Hang on a second. He's like behind behind the bar one day and like all the guys are paying him compliments and he's like, the boys are out tonight. And he's like taking, <laughs> he's like taking dollar bills from these guys that like, cause he's cute, he's a cute straight guy. So all the gay guys are like hitting on him and stuff. Boys are out tonight, huh? If you wanna, if you wanna know my, my humor, dark, like dark humor, I guess. It's kind of like that. Cause The Office is great. Like everyone loves The Office. It's kind of like a, a universally loved show. But It's Always Sunny, I feel like is, it's not a cult show. It's too, it's too big to be like a cult show in my opinion, but it's definitely, anyways. It's Always Sunny, fucking awesome show. Oh, also, if you've, it's, I have to, you have to, okay. Mac, the character Mac in It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Um, no spoilers. But if you look up, I'm gonna link it below. I'm, just, I'm not gonna say anything more, but if you click the link down below, I'm gonna label it Max Dance. Holy shit, it's so good, it's so beautiful. And we'll, maybe we'll talk about it in the podcast or something, but it's, it's a beautiful, actually we will, we totally will. Watch Max Dance so we can talk about it in a Chill Pants episode two coming out soon. All right, you beautiful little souls. Thanks for watching the vlog. If you made it to the end, hit the like button. It helps me, it helps the channel. And I'll see you guys very shortly. Episode two of the podcast coming out this weekend probably. Um, yeah, all right guys, have a good day. Thanks for watching. I love you and I'll see you in a bye. <laughs>